Welcome to another Raw Review. Solid Mike, the one and only, Bart Kwan. If you're watching this, we've been live for three days. We may be sold out, but me and Teddy are live if you want to catch it, 3SB.co. And we're talking about what we all love and what we all hate, the gimmicks of the fitness industry, raw tier list. Let's dive in. Testosterone boosters. Oh, like, okay, are you talking about like the real shit? Like, I don't know if that's a, that's like a booster. Yeah. I'm talking like maybe a Turkesterone, a Tanka Ali, what's another one? Oh, a uh, Tribalis or something? Yeah, Tribalolius. Oh, hor hor horny goat weed? When we were growing up, you had to go to Those the, ones. You had to go to the glass in GNC. Okay. Those ones. Do we have experience? So I don't know any of the new Tanka Ali, like uh, that shit, but the stuff that I took when I was a kid at like Vitamin Shop, GNC, uh, all of those. Yeah. Um, I took every single thing in that fucking store and I probably went from 12 inch arms to 13 after training for a year. So maybe nothing. So maybe it does jack shit. And why were they like $300? I don't know, I did have to save up. What's funny is back then, probably some of those had drugs in them. So you're saying I'm not natty maybe? I don't know, it's well it's possible. long enough. It's possible. Uh, Science wise, uh, my personal opinion is trash. Absolute trash, yeah. all trash. Nothing you ever buy over the counter that claims testosterone will ever get you to super maximal levels that will help muscle. Like an IFBB pro level. Right, our free range is something like 200 to uh, 800. That's the normal range of test in males. Um, so even if you're 300 your entire life and you take some of these subs and they get you to 500, you're not gonna build more muscle. You may have a hair, more libido. You need to go to the eight, nine, 10, 1,000, 12,000. You're right, now we're gonna maybe build some muscle, which I don't recommend. Uh, one, because it's illegal. Two, it, it can mess up a lot of uh, and, and systems. And people, people get it confused. They say like eight, nine, 1,000. They think that's what you're taking. It's No, it's what no. your body responds to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some people don't even respond that good. Some people can take a fuck ton, and then when they get their blood levels taken out, the yes. T levels is still low, which is why if you do you want to do any type of hormone therapy? You got to go with the doctor because it's about the stimulus and how your body uh, responds to the yeah. stimulus, not just, oh, me take more, me buffer. Yeah, and, and then you're going to be on the rest of your life. And there's just a lot of complications yeah. that we don't need to go to. It doesn't matter. But where are we rating this guy? We have God tier, above average, solid, okay, and trash. 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 I, if you want to take the same shit I took, I don't even know if it's around, but if you guys know who Marcus Rule is, he's one of the freakiest looking motherfuckers back then. Um, he was on the, on the cover of the bottle of T-Bomb. And that's what I, I know T-Bomb. T-Bomb might have had some T-Bomb in it. Fuck, for real? So I'm not Maybe, ready. I don't know. Shit. Number two, one of maybe, this might be controversial between us. Something Bart may love. Foam roller. The muscle vibrator. The cousin to the I foam roller. I don't use that But that's a cousin, all. but it's a cousin to the foam roller. It's a foam roller's cousin. So, you know, a little bit of a, a, a palp, the palp, 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 not palpitation, palpation? Palpapapis? Palpation stimulus via a, a gun. And they've gotten very popular. And for some reason, they're $700 sometimes. Yeah. But there's multiple on the scene now. Uh, I think they claim things like recover, muscle, soreness, uh, blood flow, et cetera, et cetera. No experience at all? With shit like that, in my opinion, I have quite a bit of experience. I think it's, if it makes you feel good, then do it. But you don't need to find a bunch of pseudoscience and then try to convince your other friends to do it. If it makes you feel good, but, and you're hitting PRs, whatever, and you're fixing your shit, by all means do it. I don't know what the actual science is on yeah. it, but I know a lot of people kind of like to reverse engineer the argument. So I 100% agree with Bart. If you always tell me, why do you do that? Oh, it makes me feel pretty good. I'm never gonna argue that. Yeah. But I guess I would counter to that when you wanna be more self-aware and look internally, like, does that feel good or are you starting to rely on this on some crazy placebo? Because I have heard of people that won't train without I've it. That, yeah. Or like, dude, my squat, I missed my top set because of that. Like, no, you probably missed your top set because of nutrition, sleep, or programming. Yeah. Um, but again, if it is the cherry on top of your warm up, cool. Yeah. But don't get like mentally reliant on all these things because the science is pretty bogus. But it's definitely, like you said, I think, not what people think it does. Yeah. It's not loosening up. So like, it's not like you just wake up in the morning, hit your hip and now you hit full depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you'd be better off going for a walk. Cause yeah, most of, I would say the walk is even better because most of any type of athletic application is actually mind muscle connection. Yeah. So like if you want to warm up for the squat, even doing a body weight squat and then getting your proprioception up, 
from just, oh, I just slept 12 hours and I lost all complete fucking control of my body. Move in with your body in the way that you need to. I'm gonna go play baseball, I'm gonna play basketball, whatever. That's way better than, oh, you know what? My fucking follow through isn't that good, so I'm yeah. gonna fucking jam my forearm. Or like, yeah, people say like, oh, I'm warming up for blood flow. Well, what's the best way to get blood flow? Move. Oh. oh, well that is also good, which leads us to the blue pill. Just kidding. But yeah, any kind of movement is just gonna be number one. So where are you gonna throw this guy? Cause I might even uh, made it okay. Yeah, made me okay. Yeah, it, cause it, cause it, cause it, it feels good. Yeah, put it in the middle. Yeah, probably feels good. All right. Maybe one of the most common. This is a little niche, powerlifting specific. It's taken the the game by storm. I think in the last five years. Knee sleeves? Nope. Harder. Harder knee sleeves? The lifting slipper sandal. Oh, okay. So flats. As everything in life, as we see in politics and anything else, the pendulum swings. Hard, yeah. And so I think it kept going and people are like micro analyzing these things that don't matter. Like a converse heel is like a half inch. I'm making these numbers up. But then like a, a slippers, a quarter inch. You're not gonna lift 50 more pounds. Yeah. And like I get that you wanna optimize things, but again, if it's hindering you mentally, like if you only think you can pull big weights because of the very slickest thing, you're probably doing yourself a disservice. Like yeah. that is when I say like, I sound like the old guy, but like rub some dirt in it, shut up and get better. Yeah. Um, so in that sense, I would say they're slightly overrated. Um, I have worn a couple pairs and they are comfy. Yeah. Uh, they feel loose, they feel whatever. But me personally, I think um, kind of the shut up and lift is uh, what I'm leaning towards. And maybe it's as I'm aging, but I, that pendulum swinging. And then two, I do care about how I look and feel. And I would say on the placebo meter, I would rather look cool and wear shoes that make me feel good yeah. uh, and an outfit that makes me feel good. And maybe yeah. that's the basketball background or whatever, but that will make me more likely to succeed in a training session or a meet than this half drop of a thing. Yeah, that's where I draw the parallel with like basketball. Like LeBron James is destroying her ass no matter what he wears, Yeah, but he wants to be steezed out. Same thing with powerlifting. Jamal is gonna crush you. Regardless. He could wear a fucking high heels yep. and crush your ass. Yeah. So if you want to look steezed out and be in the culture, that's dope, you know? But yeah. don't depend on it. So where are you going with this one? Maybe somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I was going to go solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Because it, it does have application and yeah. it's simple and they're not too pricey. Everyone's favorite. You were talking about blood flow earlier and you're talking about shaky, 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 shaky. A little bit older. Cock rings? The shake weight. Oh. That's absolute trash, I think. Absolute? But I they mean, say there's dynamic force going both ways. You're training right now, you're training your bicep and your tricep. Like this? Yeah. Uh, I actually heard it's the best movement when you do it on your knees. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, because of the core and the stability. Oh, the stability of the core? Yeah, I, that's I why. I can totally see that. And then once I just heard once, I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah. I saw a lot of benefits of having your tongue out. So like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say that's really good. Yeah, I'd say absolute trash. Damn, have you ever used one? No, but no, I, uh, someone bought it at the gym as a gimmick. Yeah. So I don't know what the recommended time is, but if it's 30 minutes, just walk for 30 minutes. It should do you 10 times way more. So my parents bought me one when I first got into working out, like sixth or seventh grade, and yeah. they got me, um, cause it just came out then, right? Like yeah. probably 2000, year 2000 or something. And uh, it has a workout plan to it. And I oh did it. Oh my God. And you Was do get a crazy pump and out of breath. Oh, cause shit. you're fucking, and they're like, go as hard as you can, one minute. And you're doing all these exercises, bro. And then you're like, uh, and you get a pump. I guess it depends on what your goal is. <laughs> all right, everyone's favorite. We might have disagree here too. It's a staple in every gym bag across the world. Inside of a gym bag? Or a closet. Pre-workout. Oh. It's addiction time now. Okay. I went through a phase, I get okay. it. I took my first pre-workout when I was 18, yep. uh, 19. Yep. I never took um, caffeine, I never drank coffee, I didn't, the energy drinks weren't that cool of a thing yet. Yeah. Uh, like 05, 06, 07, 08. Um, Red Bull was like just popping off, but I didn't drink any of that. And I went to a GNC type store and they were doing samples. And they're like, oh, are you going to the gym? I was like, yeah, I was gonna go train, like do this. And I swear to God, I did biceps for two hours. Maybe even the same machine. I was so locked in. Yeah. I don't know what hit me. Yeah. I've never felt that way in my life before. Okay. And so if I could get that feeling again, I would probably be addicted. So I understand why new people may be addicted to it. Yeah. But obviously some of the main ingredients in there, you do build up a tolerance to. Yes, 100%. Um, but also with that, science has evolved. You've made your own pre-workout. Yeah. And so people add more things that actually have value yeah. rather than blah, 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 make you 
the head burst. I feel like it's beneficial, but at the end of the day, in my personal opinion, the whole category is supplements. So if you're sleeping like trash, relying on pre-workout to give you a good workout, it's yeah. the opposite way. Yeah. Like ideally you should be living a lifestyle where maybe you sleep so good, you wake up with tons of energy, your, your, your diet is good, that you probably don't even need it. Especially if you're freaking 18 and to 25, yeah. holy cow. Yeah, and then, and then maybe you take a little bit just to have like a slight edge yeah. in your workout, or if, it, if it's like, I, I think lifting is a lifestyle now. So people like, you know, they want to drink a little bit when they go to the bar to socialize. Sometimes people want to take a little bit of caffeine and feel that buzz and yeah. that, that extra like wavelength. I think that's cool, but always remember that you're taking a supplement and not like actual fucking, what's the word that's opposite of supplement? Yeah, like the core, the meat and potatoes. The core element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not the core I element. do think um, people get reliant and turn all these things to crutches. They all have applications. This one and more so than others. I yeah. do think it's above average. Yeah. Because there are some things that really help. You yeah. agree above average? Because I don't think above it's God average. tier. It ain't gonna change your yeah. life. Abo above average. You could have the best body in the world and the best strength in the world and never touch pre-workout. If I coach an athlete, the first thing I'm doing is like, drink half a gallon of water a day to a gallon yeah. of water, sleep eight hours, yeah. sleep before 10, get your circadian rhythm. And then yeah. you let me know how you feel in three months and you're probably gonna feel fucking crazy good. Um, we're gonna breeze through a couple more, a couple are easy. The Nike Blazer. You know the Nike like Blazer a kick? fucking tuxedo jacket? No, the, the, the kicks, the Blazers. Oh, I got a pair of those. Yeah, they're cool. And I, I squatted in Nike Blazers in 2010. Yeah. Uh, but over the last two years, you look on TikTok and every person that trains, trains. Bodybuilding, anything, all have Nike blazers. I got them because they look cool. They are, do look cool. But They're whoa. like a 1970s basketball shoe. Yeah, it's like a, it's like Nike's version of a Chuck or something. Yeah, but for some reason, every single person wears them now. Every like, single one. As if it's beneficial athletically? No, I think partially style and partially it's flat. But hey, I'm just telling you, more people wear that than powerlifters wear Converse. Damn, well I do like them. I do like them too. But I'm not even wearing right now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna make them God tier. We'll just, like, they're a solid shoe. I think it's an overrated trend. I think it's just like a cool basic shoe and then everyone's like, oh, he has them, he has them, he has them, I'm gonna wear them. I just hate trends like that. I am a bit I'll, of a hipster. I'll put it this way. If you're an athlete, you're not wearing them. Yeah, probably. If yeah. you're lifting to look cool yeah. and you're not gonna like yeah. break a sweat. Yeah. yeah. But you can squat in them. Yeah. Like they, they, they have some application. Yeah. But they're not the shoe. But it's like, hey Zeus, gonna wear them and religiously wear them like it's a, a true piece of his like equipment arsenal. Unlikely. Yeah. All right, next quick one, the waist trainer. There's a couple of those. I think some are literally a corset where they try oh, to suck you in. Yeah. Some are like you rub some sauce on you and then you just wrap yourself up yeah, like yeah, a tummy yeah, yeah. sauna. Trash. Trash. Super trash. If you want, the easiest way to smaller waist is losing weight. Yeah. That's the, like the number one easiest thing. This one, I think there's two versions. Let's say purely performance, uh, bodybuilding, strength and conditioning. And then we'll, we'll flip the coin real quick, ice baths. Strictly performance? Yep. To be honest, I don't know if it does jack shit. So uh, a lot of the evidence <laughs> has showed that ice baths blunt hypertrophy. So if you take them too close to a training workout, they will actually stop you from building I think muscle. The, I think the research shows the inflammation afterwards is what helps you build muscle. Right. So the way that people are using where they're like train and they jump in an ice bath or they play a game of basketball and they put, put on, they go on an ice bath. That's fucking bogus wogus. Yep. Um, I think there's actually Or even studies. injury stuff. Yeah, yeah. And That's I, old science. And I think there's even studies that shown the opposite. Like uh, if you train your ass off and then you go in a sauna, you, you in increase the inflammation, it's even better. Uh, I don't know if it increases inflammation, but there is uh, heat proteins, uh, uh, proteins that you can proteins. activate. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's good. Uh, in terms of, yeah, injuries, everyone used to ice that up. That's bad. You yeah. want your body, your body's inflamed for a reason. It's yeah. trying to send nutrients and things there to heal whatever's going on. Yes. Obviously you have a broken bone, you gotta go doctor, et cetera, but yep. smaller things. Um, recovery. It does do. And so I've explained this before and everyone gets so mad, but I think uh, not to sound pretentious, but you guys just aren't understanding what I'm saying, where I say that ice baths, um, and our goal in the gym is to adapt to the stimulus we give ourselves. Yes. Our goal in the gym is not to recover from our workouts. Yes. And I said that and people like, Mike, you're just throwing words out now. No, if you want to recover to perform, Yes. but we want to adapt to get better. Yeah. So if we have a competition five days in a row, 
Bart and I just did a little circuit. If we're competing in that, like something like CrossFit or a triathlon, multiple days, yes, you want to recover because you want to be at your best the day after day. Yes. But during training the past six months, we don't care about performance. Yes. Yeah, we want to see an overall trend going up, but we want to adapt. So there may be dips in that while we're fatigued. And that's the same basis of powerlifting programming. That's, that's also the same reason why I think people see uh, they kind of cherry pick what they see because they don't know the full context. Yeah. So they'll watch their favorite basketball player in season. They go, yep. ah, see, they got yep. ice all over his knees. Yeah, why is LeBron James taking yeah. ice bath? Because he he's, plays five yeah, games he's playing in seven five, days. Five days a week, he's playing basketball. He's sleeping on the plane. Like he has overnighters on the plane. Yeah. He's playing in five different cities, five different games. So like you said, that is more for the performance aspect, but in the off season, he's letting everything fully recover. Probably. He's not doing that. Yeah, yeah if he's doing it right. Um, yeah. Now I guess we'll flip the coin real quick in terms of, uh, for me, ice baths for lifestyle, goes back to the foam roll thing. Um, any gimmick I spot, and I took this from Eric Helms, shout out. Um, any gimmick to me screams when they fix like 10 issues. Right, remember oh. when CBD first came out? Oh, it's good for inflammation, anxiety, happiness, yeah. walking your dog, being rich, getting beautiful, it fixes everything. Yeah. And that's what the ice bath is right now because it's so trendy. Yeah. May it have some benefits? Maybe, it has some mental benefits. But also just because you take an ice bath every morning and ice baths are hard, isn't gonna turn you into Tim Kennedy. Yeah. It doesn't work that it way. It could help. So the, the what You I, think I took an ice bath and I turned into Tim Kennedy? So what I like about ice baths and this just, and I talk categories, I don't talk specific things. Anything that's mentally difficult for you, um, I think it kind of has like that placebo effect where you have, it helps train the mind, it helps huh? train the body. You know what I mean? So, I think it can. Yes. So I think that's where things get caught up because it can transfer to the rest of your life, but I would, that's only with purpose and conscious decision to make it. And my, my other go-to to that though is that's why people that do it long term, I think defeats the purpose. For sure. So Because it gets easier. It, yeah, if you do something 30 seconds, <laughs> it's cold, right? Yes, you're, you're getting stronger, you're in your mind, which helps you have more willpower to do yeah. other things. Once you can start do it David Goggins level, where it's 15 minutes and you're just chilling, time to switch it up. Yeah. Because now you're, that is not giving the same like willpower effect that you need for your placebo. It's 100% anecdotal, but because we've, we've met so many high tier athletes in powerlifting, strength conditioning, CrossFit, bodybuilding, uh, professional sports, UFC, yeah. uh, tactical, anything. Yeah. We've met so many people yeah. um, and they are just a different breed because how many of the casuals do we know in that world that do hard things? Powerlifting's hard to show up every day and don't allow that. There's still, no offense to all y'all, bums in their personal life, bums in their financial life, bums in their self spiritual life, right? Yeah. Cause you don't allow it to transfer. Yeah. It can transfer but it's not an auto. It's not like you take an ice bath and you become Bezos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people talk it's, like that on the internet. It's the intent and I think it's the demographic. Yeah. So if you are of a person that has a hard time getting up and doing what you want, I think that's helpful. It might be a jump start. But if you are already in the NBA and you have like, I've been crushing it since I was in fourth grade. Yeah, that's not gonna college, elevate you. It, that's not yeah. gonna elevate no. you at all. Yeah. And I would almost argue like, the highest form of that is like Monk Man. Yeah. Where you're like, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need to fill up an ice cube, but because that's your goal, right? Your goal is like, how can I go when I want? I do. Like that's Monk yeah. Man's status. I guess I've just seen the opposite, where people are like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to change my life around. I'm trying to like get healthy and stuff. So like, I've been taking ice baths. Like, oh, that's all you're doing? Like, why? Why is that what we're doing? You're not focusing on your nutrition. Your sleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh no, like the guy on the internet told me to do that, so I bought an ice bath and I've been taking ice baths. Like, that's not it. And that's like supplements. You're using up all the ice cubes at Albertsons too. That's man, I'm like, drinks is hot. Okay. Um, I think it's okay because it depends on the application yep. and there's so much involved in it. It's not like a blanket statement, yep. you know? A couple more rip throughs, fit teas. That's bull that bullshit trash. How, so, how do you think that drinking a tea is gonna make you skinny? I guess if you drink a tea and eat nothing else. All right. Uh, <laughs> very big trend on the internet. What? I've never actually done it. I've done it with creatine maybe, the dry scoop. Dry scoop and pre-workout? Yeah. Or what? Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Why is that a thing? So this Are is. Are you that lazy? This is the thing, okay? Hit them. Um, with a lot of the supplements that you take, they are actually water soluble. Meaning, when combined with water, it becomes more bioavailable, so your body digests it better. It's just the same reason why when you buy vitamins, it always says, please that eat with food because those vitamins are only gonna get absorbed yeah. into your body if it's with fat. Yeah. 
So if you're just drinking vitamin fasted and drinking water, you're gonna piss it all out. But I think the, they think it's hardcore or something. But the most effective way is you wanna take things the way that it's the most bioavailable and most of that is with water. Trash. Yeah. Trash? Oh, dry scooping, yeah, trash. Trash. Uh, CBD. I think my opinions have changed. I used to bash CBD. Yeah? Yeah. Because when it, anything first comes out and gets hot, like we said, the gimmick radar is when it fixes everything. Like, like, what does creatine do? Creatine gives you a little bit more energy on a little bit on muscle endurance, yeah, right? Yeah. It has a very specific thing. It doesn't make it, your dick bigger. Yeah, it doesn't make your dick bigger, anxiety, it doesn't fix all this shit, right? So I know it's not a gimmick. I mean, I don't know, but you can but look now deeper. Found it helps. Uh, it might help some brain sure. stuff. Yeah. yeah, it might still help some it's brain stuff. Cool. Um, but that all makes sense because it's found in steak, it's found in fish, right? Yeah. But when CBD first came out, it's fixing everything. Inflammation, eczema, anxiety, depression, uh, uh, all this stuff. And you're like, dude, that's trash. But I do think it probably has some applications, although I don't think science is still caught up. Uh, where you want to throw it? In the middle, I guess. Yeah, solid? Yeah. There's probably some applications yeah. again. Um, last but not least, I think we're talking about the two minute abs or the two week abs or the 10 minute push ups or the. All of those are trash. But they're still coming out. And they're still probably making way more money than us. Everything we study, we've learned that little by little over a long period of time is the best way to gain knowledge, gain money, fitness, lose weight. Like everything is, is you want to do slow and steady. So anything that's like a super truncated version, it's one, it's you're going to gain the other way. You're going to, uh, what is it called? Relapse easy. And then the extremes that you're going to go to, to make it happen. It's not sustainable at all. 10 minute abs is probably dope for a month, but yeah. then the next month you probably need 11 minute yeah. abs and they don't sell you that. Yeah. The industry is wonderful. There's a lot of dope people, but sadly the cream doesn't rise to the top. Always. There's a lot of famous trash out there. Watch yourselves, watch Barbara Brigade. Cause we'll learn and spit you the truth. Raw, tearless every Wednesday. Appreciate you all. Salam Mike. Check out Barbara Gay. We got a bunch of new shows and dope content dropping from our trips together. New content every single day, man. 3sp.co. Cop the Teddy. Catch you in the next one.